Now we're gonna get Crow on for the the reset, which I would appreciate because I've needed a lot of water. Not gonna lie, it's been a lot of water. Hey, Crow, how's it going? It's not. All right. Well, they'll be back in a sec. Oh, I had myself muted and then unmuted on Mumble, so my bad. But hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. How how's your uh, your day been? I have been commentating a zero K tournament. It's pretty cool. I wonder who zero K tournament it is. I don't know. Some guy. He seems to be a big yeah, Ruby fan. Some random guy off the internet, you know? Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. You know, say that uh. That Bulls played last game. That was pretty crazy, wasn't it? At the start, yeah, with the, the economic harassment. That was that was solid. Yeah, it was very solid. Million dollar bolus. But uh, it looks like uh, we're going to see bands on Vantage, Acolons, and Sparkles. Well, Sparkles has never been picked. It's C map. Although Crags is open, again. The map you hate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we banned it every game. Yeah. Yes, I did. I do, yeah. I wasn't like too uh, too worried about it because it's it's not that bad of a map. But I think Anir really hates it, so I was like, "Yo, we'll just ban it anyway." Hmm. Why? Let them waste a ban. Um. I I think Anir just does not want to play against spiders on random crags, which is understandable because I don't want to play against spiders on random crags either. Uh, but Fair you enough. know, it's it's sometimes like that, and also I think. I don't like it on the account of it being random. I'm very much a opponent of RNG in any type of my competitive video game, but... Oh, okay, we're going to random crags, so I have to... Yep, come, we're come, come going to, to random crags. So I'm trying to think. All I'm, right. You say that, I'm trying to remember offhand if there's a Faust in Smash Bros, but I don't think there is. Uh, no. There's RNG in Smash Bros, but it isn't super prominent except for, like, one or two characters. No, I was trying to remember which characters um, those are offhand, but I can't remember. Sorry, but uh, that's not familiar. Peach and... Yeah. It's, I see a bit of knockback. Oh, and Game & Watch. But, sir, for those of you not familiar, Faust is a character in Guilty Gear who has, among his moveset, the ability to throw one of a, a fairly large set of random items that do a variety of things, from blow up a bunch of the stage to give your give whoever picks it up extra HP. So, adds random. <laughs> yeah. Guilty Gear really is just the uh, the Smash Bros of 2D fighters. It's, uh... I've never heard it put that way before. I'd have to think about that. You know, it, it kind of is. Like, there's no other game that has, like, that same type of, like, item concept in it. Uh, that's, a, that's like a 2D fighter that isn't a platform fighter, so... That's fair. I don't even Although think it's, 3D it's, fighters like Tekken. But it's it. funny, because I would consider Rivals of Aether to be the Guilty Gear of Smash Bros. Because it's more step oriented. Yeah, about, that's, that's about right. Yeah. Okay. All right, Although back R to... ROA is also like melee. Yeah, but back to yeah. 0K. Back to a game that isn't any of those games, nor in their genre of any in any capacity, but does have a lot of weird stuff going on that some seems random. We have a random map! Which is a big plateau in the center this time, with a few ramps. It's basically a nicer looking version of, of Adamantine Mountain. Yeah, this is just a nicer looking version of Adamantine Mountain. Like, the weird dip in the center is interesting. This would actually not be a terrible map if... And what, what makes it interesting is like the st it looks like it generated to have start boxes on the sides. It looks very nice to have like corner start boxes. This would not mm -hmm. be a terrible map if it was just made into a height map and put on a, put on a better texture um yeah you're not wrong yeah wow this map does have dnts okay um yeah but so so far i've seen pudis and thomas basically going for cheese and that's about it um i know i got cheesed in my game versus them i kind of got I, it was partially my fault i got put a combat mid and you know overextended yeah so, well that's how they play uh, i think that's they find yeah, the strong player, they for. knock them out, and then the other player has to try to keep up and then gets fallen, it's torn apart. They just yeah. haven't been able to pull um, that off thus far. They've been against Randy and their fan. Like, Randy, Randy's fan is punching way above their weight. Yeah. That's what I was talking... I was talking to Aquanim yesterday uh, on Discord, and I was like, yo, can you check that Randy fan isn't just Randy on a second computer? And he, yeah, he's check. not. Um, They're not. Apparently, Randy Fan is like um, just one of Randy's friends, possibly from like offline StarCraft or something. Uh, 
but it was very interesting. I was like, this this dude plays the arcade like he's been playing it for years. I know. And there's it's... a pretty big gap in the account's history as well. And I was like, hmm, it's strange. Well, there's there were like because that that account was made a week and a half ago or two week and a half weeks ago. There's another account that was yeah. technically that was might have been a Smurf. Like Smurf, the admin panel for Smurf is a little bit finicky. It doesn't always show. It, it has false positive issues sometimes. Yeah. But with oh. What the heck? Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Who paused the- oh, Poodis paused the game, okay. Oh, I think they meant to do pre-game mm. planning and then didn't get pre-game planning. Alright, so Gunship Spider. Okay. On... yeah, I can see it. I mean, the more I look at this map, the more I wish there was a way of saving off the height map from this. Yeah, I know. It's like it's actually Ugh. quite quite nice. I, I'm wondering a little bit if like there's maybe a temporary height map generation that's possible to go back and grab from the replay somewhere, but I doubt it is. Um, it's probably the engine doing its magic. So yeah, unfortunate. But slap the baby into World Maker and. Well, I mean, you might be able to use. I'm trying to think if we use Lua to access the height map in a way that allows it to actually read it off, but I don't know. Okay, so if if this flea sees the gunship factory, this is over. This game is over. Um, this game is over. If it does this no, by, by your yep, logic, by your logic, this game is over. <laughs> the no, I mean it was it was inevitable by the, when I said that. There's nothing stopping. Yeah. Uh, yep. It's it would have been a great idea if someone had built the magic thing we like to call an LLT, but you know what they didn't build an LLT. <laughs> No, they did not. They so, they built yeah. nothing, or even not just that, just a couple solars in the back, just to have it force the flea around, and the commander could take it out. Yeah, yeah. Just what? Uh, no. This is why like LTS are so important. Is like if you're gonna do for straight like that, you just have some like zone control. It's like don't just uh. Now this is actually interesting. This is this might work. No, um, the ven it's well. gonna be risky. It's gonna be risky. The venom can take out locusts yeah. really well, so it's. It's not something that Thomas is really confident going for, and I don't blame them. Because yeah. that is not uh, a, that um, is not an easy fight to take. Yeah, if he turns off strafe, he could have done it if he did circle move and turn off sta strafe control, but it, I don't I don't think he was really looking to do that much micro right there. I think he was just trying to get information. No. Not to um, mention it's also like with that oh, no. many that few, with so few locusts, I don't see that working out very well. Yeah. He had the third one on the way. It was just by the time he got there, there was so much extra stuff being built. Also, surprisingly, not a lot of AA being built for going against a half team that's half half air. Yeah. So, now, Venoms work reasonably well against sm small numbers of Locusts, and they're also much more transferable to ground fights. Whereas if you build a Tarantula, yep. that's 400 metal. That's, twi that's two Venoms you're not building. Gremlins are a little more manageable. But I think Randy's fans just focus more yeah. on winning the ground game, and Randy's confident they can just take the air game without having to make dedicated anti-air. Basically, yeah, Venoms are busted right now. <laughs> Venoms are yeah, that's, really strong. That's what I was saying. I was in Mumble Voice chat, and I was like, look, if Shadow Fury says on stream that Venom is busted and there's no way to fight it, it might be time for a patch. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it, it's time. I, yeah. I am reluctant to call any particular unit overtuned. I'm always trying to find some way that you can use the existing tools to be able to deal with what currently exists, even if sometimes the, my ideas go way beyond the practical. Yeah. This is not one of those times. This is this is cold cold hard facts. It's cold hard facts. Venoms. Are, and I talked to Google Frog about this last week, and he was like, "Well, yeah, but spiders need a raider." And it's like, fair point. I'm not sure if a 200 cost raider riot combo that has EMP is the way to go because pyro is a 200 cost raider riot combo with fire that's strong, but its cost really gets in the way. Venom, on the other hand, yeah. it it stuns, and that stun is huge. So I I like the stun. I just think it might have been a little undervalued during the last balancing pass. Yeah. And I think, um, honestly... That being said... I don't no. think Vin Venom does the role of the raider. Oh, also, this comm is dead in the... Oh, yeah, Randy's comm is done. In the north. Very, Which very good might comb. actually... Yeah. Wait, 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 let's... Know? Oh, no, wait, they're whoa, done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're done. What's going on here? They're done, but... Oh, but Thomas's commander is underground. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. That's and the thing you do. Ulti- yeah, it's GG, right? Yeah. It's likely. They... There's no way of defending against these glaives. Yeah. Venoms are coming up and there aren't not... enough of them. Putin's apparently Spanish still has the confidence. Routine. Yeah, it's uh, Pudis is fighting these games basically on his own. It's like the last game he like fought for what was it five or five or so minutes after Thomas resigned. So he's yeah, he's actually holding quite well by himself. Um, although I don't think anything can save his no Thomas's commander from the chair. Put some play. Yeah. Yeah, uh, nope. Nope. Also pointing out, it's worth pointing out the Twitch chat has mentioned that Randy's number one fan is apparently actually the best balance annihilation player, or was at one point the balance. He, they were the oh. best balance annihilation player, which is for those of you not familiar, okay. the other main spring game, besides zero K. Yeah. So they're very familiar with the systems. Yeah, B- I put B A a little bit uh, over my time just because people mm-hmm. from zero K would occasionally be like, "Yeah, come play B A." Uh, B A is a very, it's a little bit clunkier feeling. It's not as like micro based. Was it um, original or B A R? Although I realize they're probably not. It was, it, was BA. it was BA. Um, I've mm-hmm. not actually been around, got around to playing BAR yet, but I probably will one of these days. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. It looks very pretty. It just, but it's worth noting that the way that BA plays is the way that BA plays. Like it's BAR yeah. is not going to change that. BA. All right. Well, Pudis yeah, and Thomas go down one more time. They have one more round. That's all they got left. If they yep. win this. They are still in, but if they lose it. That's tournament, and Randy's take it. Eesh, that is cutting it close. Yeah, and they only need two games in a row. Like, if they can manage to grit some foothold in this game, too, they're in a pretty good position. And I, I thoroughly believe they can pull it off. I know they have the capacity to pull it off. Because, you know, I've seen yeah. it, they They've almost done it a couple times. It's just they fall ever so, ever so short in momentum each time, so... I, I would not say that going to random crags that game was a good idea. I think that random crags inherently benefits players that have better and map analysis skills on that short of a basis. Um, yeah. Although it's also good that if they don't have the map analysis skills, you can trip people up because you're basically like fighting on the same playing field. But this was one of the reasons I put random crags in this week was I was someone I think it was Winslot was asking me last week about putting random crags in for one v one. And Aquanim said something along the lines of, it's not the RNG that's the problem, it's the quick map analysis skills that Zero K doesn't normally expect you to possess. That's right. That are being tested here, rather than, you know. So, that's kind of what I what I was seeing this time around. Because 2v2 tournaments are a good opportunity to just test things like that, because you have twice the normal amount of people per side, and you can kind of see the game patterns are a little bit bigger scale than you normally can. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here over random crag games. Uh, both of the ones earlier in this one were that uh, map analysis, like it isn't very straightforward. Even on that map where there was a big plateau in the middle, uh, it was still wasn't very straightforward as to what people should do. So where Randy and Randy fan automatically pushed mid, I think uh, Thomas one looked like he tried to push into the east co- or no east west corner first, and mm-hmm. I think that instead of pushing that, he probably should have just pushed mid. But like I said, it's like why why would you expect to to have to go over that? It's like that's not normally a thing you think about when you look at a map because you've probably played it a couple times. So, well, that's that's something which I'm surprised that Thomas and Buddha's picked it because they yeah. didn't pick it against you and Anir specifically because they figured Anir would have the advantage. Yeah, and then Amir is like, no, I don't want to play random crags. Yeah, so, but that's the thing is, like, I just don't. Like, why did you go for that? You had the, you made the right call. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I like, I don't. I just think me and Amir didn't want to play spiders, and now play against spiders, and that was the main reason. And then we went on Akalon, which was playing against spiders, which I was kind of like, yeah, not uh, yeah, not great, but it it almost worked. Um. Bands, by the way, are, uh, I know you're restoring zero K. It's Akalon, the Sapphires, no, I'm in. and Sparkles. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Okay. The stream has it updated. It's all good. Th- thank you, though, for being on top of that. You're welcome. I don't even have stream pulled up since I know it'll echo back, so I was like, might as well just go for it. Um, I think Peroni... Pick the one you're about to mean. Uh, yeah, so they can't... Uh, Actually, yeah, okay, so... They haven't even won, so DSR doesn't even play yet. Um, it will be worth noting, I guess, that Randy can't go to random crags. 
Yep. Uh, game three. That uh, is true. Should we get a game three? Not in. So. Zed again. I. Zed. All right. I mean, if you're that much of a glutton for punishment, <laughs> didn't work yeah, last time. It's, it uh... didn't seem likely to work last time either. I get why they're picking it. It's it's straightforward. The game plan isn't complicated. You do the same thing every game you play on Zed. Uh, it's not hard, but where Thomas and Pudis like doing cheese things, I think that they're going to try to do some cheese and wind up losing mid. Yeah, um, that's what happened last from time. What I've seen. But, that's my yeah. point. I don't but, I don't understand why they're doing this. The way they're playing does not fit. And also, I get your point about it being a relatively known game plan. That's the problem. It's a known game plan, so the yeah. players with better execution are going to be able to better execute that plan, which in this case are the Randys. Yeah. See, Brandy also lost on this map earlier. This was this was what sent Randy down, yes. to, down to losers. They so. did, but that was because Anir was basically all over the place, and you had the center covered with emissaries. Yeah, emissaries. Another unit that we won't talk about, but it's a little bit crazy. I don't um, think it's that crazy. I think it's perfectly counterable. I think Zed is just crazy. a bad map. Yeah. I don't like Zed as Zed a map. Is just, yeah. As emissaries are definitely... Is this an Orphelius map? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, this predated their maps. Their, their maps are primarily the ones that yeah. look... All of Orph's maps, I think... Actually, I gotta double check. I don't want to make any statements right now of that. I don't think yeah. one of theirs. I'll double check. I think that Orph... I'm confusing Orphs and Sprung's maps, so that's why I don't want to say too much until I double check. Yeah. Uh, no, Moose, it Moose is loose. Moose, it's definitely, yeah, moose moose, moose, makes okay. sense. It looks like a moose map with all the little, all the crenellations on the terrain. That's a moose thing. All right. Yeah. No, with Orf, did Orphelius do, what must they do? They did uh, Isle of Grief and Red Comet. I think I, they did a Sprung, because Sprung did a bunch sprung, of maps. Yeah, probably. They did, like, every map that's got green to brown, Lonely Oasis, Kubik Prains, and Insania, those are all Sprung. Yeah. I know, um... Because that's basically the same audio, know, like, same generator essentially for whatever they're yeah. using. I think Sprung uses Worldmaker. I know uh, Betterhith. Uh, yeah, Betterhith uses, uses World, World Machine. Maker as well. Which is mildly frustrating because yeah. it's like, that's yeah, great and all, but not everyone can spend 300 bucks on making maps for a game. Yeah, it's. Uh, I want there is a trial version. It just it doesn't support very good res and it's almost impossible to do DMTS with. So it's, Yeah. You know, I mean, it's one of those things where, like, just I don't know. Springboard ideally would just be something you could access from within the game, and then you just have a bunch of materials that would just splat DNTS as you go. But yeah, that's not a thing. So yeah, I mean, I think no, sorry, I think, I think it is a thing. Splatting DNTS, I think, is a thing, but Springboard is hard to yeah. access. It's just not straightforward to get to. It's also like impossible to find the download link for. Like I had to ask somebody. No, trying you have to, to go through GitHub. That's the problem. Or... You have to basically yeah. download the GitHub repository in order to get it. It's unfortunately not complete yet. Same start. Yeah. Okay. So this was like the early game. Pudis went spiders. Um, I'm not sure if anybody saw the game earlier where Pudis uh, was on Sapphire Shores. Pudis did say that he yep. is not comfortable playing spiders, which is very odd to me that he plays spiders here. Um. Okay, he's he's making venoms. He's figured out the game. <laughs> he's not making hermits anymore. Um, That's that was. I mean, I could sort of understand why he'd make hermits against fencers. I do think that hermit venom wouldn't be a bad choice against fencers, just to have that extra tankiness. Yeah. But there were no venoms with the hermits. If you can manage to make the hermits stay in front of the venoms long enough for you to get up to the fencers, that's the that's the nice micro. That is the um, play. But. This, this Venom is about to die versus five Scorchers? Wait, hold on. The game's about to end. Why is there five Scorchers? Because both players were assisting, <laughs> oh. assist building the main rover factory yeah. from the start. 20 meters per second off the someone... storage into, store, into, into Scorchers. Oh. Yeah. Popping fact in the main event. Yeah, this might be GG. This is just like the quick cheese ending. Um, Pretty much. Who he had? Let, let's see. There, if he he can make another venom in uh, 17 seconds, I don't think that's enough. If he gets another venom, this is at least capable. Well, they're being buying dealt time. With. They are buying time. Randy's not they're going for it. That's the key thing. Yeah, Randy didn't have vision. Probably was a little bit scared of going in, which is understandable. He oh yeah, no, I, I wouldn't. Through. I wouldn't be going in that hard. I'd be. 
I'd be doing the same thing. I'm like, I mean, I, Randy, I, although I will admit that has been one thing I've noticed that it does leave them open a bit, is that Randy will often not go for pushes where they will, where it's like, it's risky, where it might pay off, which is yeah. a thing that can be exploited, but I don't think Northeast quite have the, has the resources yet to do it. They're working on it, but I don't think it's quite there yet. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Thomas this time uh, actually put an LT at the other mixes, which is good, unlike last time. Um, well, these venoms yep. might do something, maybe. That's well. That's the thing too is the fact that the venoms are here. And, okay, I restarted zero K to avoid this exact problem. Great, thanks, game. Why does it do this sometimes? I don't know time it's gonna crash. Well, anyway, that's a thing that just happened. So... Ah! Nope, the game crashed. Sorry oh, about really? that. Yeah, game crashed. I'm gonna have to come back in very quickly because that's... A no, not you. Got a hockey like well, that. you aren't missing Fence. very much. There's there's currently only a, uh, a couple fencers just duking it out, so... Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I was... ain't really missing too much. I was about to say that the fact that Randy is not taking situations where it might work is something that can be exploited by basically having a shadow, like a shadow front line or a phantom front line, like yeah. you, which is exactly what is being done with those Venoms that I was commentating on before the game went and crashed on me for some reason. I really don't know why. That doesn't yeah. happen. They're not, often. they're not trying to cheese it. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm, he went in, Thomas oh, went into Ravages, on, which game. is interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I apologize. I, OBS apparently doesn't want to show the game right now for some reason, and I can't figure out why. Does that fix it? No, they don't fix this. Oh, okay. okay, well, at any rate, main Venom's taking a bunch of stuff out. We're going to do it radio style while this silly thing doesn't want to work. Yep. I'm terribly sorry. Why is this broken? Right now, of all times. I can't stop OBS either, otherwise the stream will stop. Frustrating part. He's only stuck up cell units, which aren't bad. Oh, there we go. Uh, We're back. We're back. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Sorry. We missed the Venoms went down here and went back up. Yep. Managed to deal some damage against fencers, but not too much, and now Pudus is forced to retreat. Where is Thomas's commander? Uh, is it dead? It's dead. Isn't it, it might be dead. I didn't watch it die, but I feel like it has a pretty. I'm looking at the. There's Rex. no. There's nothing. My... Nope. It's it's dead. Nope. It's dead. And ducks coming around the side. At least have some resistance with that Lotus mentioned earlier, but it's still not much. Oh. How? Did... Yeah. This is pretty rough. Well, I mean, that being said, it's not the worst thing in the world. At least it's not like... No, actually, it is like that. There, there's not a whole lot left. There's this one desperate attempt to go down the southeast side of the map. Would you stop freezing up, game? Pete's sake, I... Okay, so quitting and reloading does not do the trick, apparently. All right. Is your game memory leaking or something? Or? I thought it was. That's why I quit and reloaded it. Apparently, that's not the problem. Maybe it's just zero K being weird on Windows. That's maybe weird. OBS. It's I don't know. Happen. It's after after three or four hours, but I think it might be OBS. But normally, it's not a problem. I don't know. Yeah. My graphics card's not overheated or anything, so I don't know. Anyway, back to the game. I apologize for the technical difficulties. I think we're okay. At any rate, there's at least Pudis trying something. They have the... Well, okay, they're, this isn't going to work. They're trying nope, something, but boys are pretty much the hard counter to most spider factory units. Yep. Like, skirmishes counter them pretty well, and then boys have slow on top of that. It's just not fun. Unsurprisingly, forced to retreat. Center of the map also very open. Yeah, Pudis and Thomas, they are... Back to Hermits. Ducks about to come in on the 
Yep, I'll duck some bats coming out of north. Yep, this is. Well, the scorchers no, are there to deal with it. Scorchers. That's yeah. not great, just because there's that means there's fewer scorchers on the front lines, which I guess the bulkheads are a really good choice to have. So. Yeah, the issue is that you have fencers too and bulkheads, and now there's just total zone denial in mid. Uh, yeah, that's so this probably not is not going to end very well. Yeah, it's. I don't. This I like the Wolverine. They're I guess they're called badgers now. Uh, yep. I like those as a choice. Um, I think <laughs> they were a better choice when they had mid control and bef like so. They say built fencers, right? They probably should have just done fencers Wolverines to try to keep zone control. Because mm -hmm. um, what I think happened here was that they built fencers, got pushed by fencers, and then the other team just had better eco for a little bit. Uh, so they just pushed uh, with. A couple of units faster and uh while they were trying to build assault units uh like the i guess what are they called ravagers um they just kind of won mid because the ravagers took too long to build yeah. i think a couple wolverine contributed a lot to keeping the fencers at least away while you built more units well it seems to be the play now i just considering the economic disadvantage on their side and the fact that they have not had the center of this entire game i don't have a lot of faith in that plan working overall Still, Hermits and Redbacks from the side yeah. basically taking advantage of the cliff to avoid range issues. It's doing something! It's flanking out those fencers very nicely, in fact. Unfortunately, the rest of the stack yep. defense is not making it so easy to continue to do a lot of damage. The Redbacks are all dead, the Hermits are still alive, but they don't have the DPS to really keep this going. Still, it's a frontline clear. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's just, unfortunately, not as effective as I'm sure Pudas would have liked. Or, honestly, I think Pudas yep. would need. Uh, I do think they have, if they get all this reclaim, I think they're, I think it's recoverable. It's not easy, but it's, it's a big if, um, but, but yes, but I, I agree. This, this bulkhead is going to be denying a lot of this reclaim for the next little bit. Um, so it's, oh, uh, they also have a grizzly down there at 20, basically 30%. So it's, yep. this, this is probably it, unless That'll they can find issue. some way to secure that reclaim. I mean, to yeah. be fair, the slam rocket is on the commander. So, or the commander has a slam rocket. They can take out the bulkheads on top of the drones. So it's not like they have no options to deal with that, but they've also seeded the reclaim, which yeah. puts them in a very bad position. They, they are way on the back foot now. I mean, you can see the factories. It's, it's entirely just badgers. That's the entire play right now. Yep. Is hold the line with badgers until something. I mean, there's an attempt with hermits in the yeah, back line to do some harassment, but it's. That's about it. It's not doing terribly, though. Actually, Actually it's doing all right. Yeah, getting a couple. Terribly. It's not enough at the totally. moment because of the reclaim. That's the main issue. That's like that's great and all for later potentially, but right now that center reclaim is the main problem, and nothing is contesting it. Randy is yeah. just getting 30 metal per second on the reclaim. It's and no one's saying no. So that's begun. That's that's gonna put Pro over the top if they weren't already. Yeah. Still, that rocket at least is helping get rid of the bulkheads. They have stabilized a little bit, I will say that. They they are at least now not getting pushed back too far. Uh, they are they are they're stabilizing a little bit. Uh, I don't I think pure hermits are maybe not the right answer versus boys, but I think, I maybe think they're hermit, the best like, answer. Hermit, hermit recluse. So, okay, hermit recluse also yeah, makes hermit, sense, yes. But I think yeah. hermits I think Hermits really are the best answer because they don't care about speed that much, and they have a ton of HP. Well, for yeah. spiders, they have a, like spiders are a frail factory as on the whole, but hermits are, apart from crabs, the least frail unit. Yeah. Also worth noting, both sides have slam rockets, and Pudis is getting slammed harder. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's something. It's a. Uh... Honestly, it's they somehow got pushed back again. I think due to the bulkheads. Um, bulkheads and rocket. Pudis's commander is almost dead. Yeah, if yeah. Randy's commander gets in range of Pudis's commander again, Pudis's commander is done. But Pudis hasn't yeah. really been countering it themselves. Don't stop walking, Pudis. Don't stop walking. Uh, this is. It's yeah, okay. He's not dead. Yeah. Uh, the grizzly. But now, um, now Randy's Randy's uh, commander nope. is fine. Buddhist is fine, but uh, it's just uh, hermits are not enough. I agree with the recluse. The badgers aren't really in position to deal with this, and there's just no real threat. Like yep. honestly, that's not much they can press at this point. So 
Firewalker being attempted from Thomas, but they are done. They don't see any way out of this. Now that it's Buddhist, and that is it. The Randys turning this around, taking it. Ultimately 2-0, twice. Double 2-0 to take the tournament, and that is going to be that. So yeah, that was that was quite a nice losers bracket run. That was uh, they got knocked down the losers round two and made it back. That was nice. That was very nice. Took out Chrono Near in the process, and now they got the four hundred points, which Randy was the only one out of the entire tournament that the entire set of people that were in this tournament that could have benefited from that. I checked. Yep. Nobody else benefits. Yeah. I mean, it, it's nice to have higher numbers, but no one else breaks. Well, yeah, no one else actually breaks out of where they were. I think the only other person that might have been able to was Bloa, and they were not able to get even past the first round because of DQs. Did you take into account uh, the points from the first 2v2 tournament as well? Are those counted in here? Uh, I was going to make... Because it feels... Because I thought the point was that there was a bonus on the 1v1 ratings based on the place in this tournament. Like, if you won, your 1v1 rating went up by 400. If you got second, what, 200? Um, and third would be 100. Me and Gare got second. Yeah. yeah. You and Anir got So, third. I'll have to do the math. You it and Anir got third. Oh, but you and Gare got second in the first one? In the first 2v2 tournament, you mean? Yeah, me and Gare got second in oh, the yeah, first okay. 2v2, yeah. Fair enough. Well, I don't I know to... what the... I don't know. You're 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 the TO. You yeah, care. I'm the TO. Okay. <laughs> you're also cutting out. Oh, for Pete's sake! Seriously, OBS. Um, and then after that, I'll be home and I'll do all the math for. Okay, uh, sorry. Could you start over again out. because oh, I yeah. that for whatever reason my computer locked up. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so I have another tournament to go to in about 10 minutes, so I will be gone for a little bit, but by tonight I will have the final rankings up. I'll have to go bug Aquanim to get into the server to give people trophies. Um, but cool. yeah, so you should have trophies and other graphics out by the end of uh, tomorrow, at least. Awesome. So thank you, everybody, for coming uh, to Lobster Roll Weekly. This is a much bigger success than I thought it would be. I thought we would have like five-man tournaments all season, and we've had like, I think the maximum was like 10 what, to 20? 19. The last two was 19. Yeah. So yeah, that's been good. Oh, it's Discord being a pain. That's what's going on. Ah. Why is Discord? Sorry, it was Discord actually, apparently, since one locking up. Yeah, I stopped hearing you for a little bit. I was like, hmm, chat if you're in stream. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, anyway, apologies for the technical difficulties. But yes, thank you, all of you, for playing. Because, like Crow was saying, this was way bigger than we expected. It was like, I think Min was 10 and Max was 19 or so. Which is maybe a bit hard for the two yeah. twos. And then, and just consistently week after week. That was, that was really well, like, that was well played from everyone. That was... I'm very glad to see it. I mean, I said this last week as well, but I I mean, like, thank you all very much for participating. It's I know it's tough to go into a tournament. I have I've been playing in many, and there's been just that hasn't really been this kind of series before. But yeah, it's great to know that's a real option. So thank you all for playing. Thank you to Crow for organizing it. You're welcome. It's uh, hopefully next season. I know there's a modded tournament, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure. I know Shadow Fury was talking about on the stream earlier. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there will be a modded tournament, I believe, on the 21st. That's right. 21st at uh, what appears to be noon GMT or noon UTC, which is like 5 Western, like 5 Pacific Daylight Time, 1 or 2 p.m., 1 to 3 p.m. in Europe or Russia. It's. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Okay. Discord is really pissing me off right now. Uh, I think this is maybe his first time hosting a tournament of like this magnitude and size for Zero K. I don't think he's hosted any ZK stuff before, um, but I'm kind of helping him out on it as well. So look forward yep. to that. I think um, 
I know Future Wars, which is one of the mods being hosted. I know Shaman is working on getting, a, I think, a release ready for that of some sort. Probably uh, V20. Because apparently water broken. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, um, and then after that happens, uh, in some time in the near future, we'll probably have more lobster roll stuff. Um, and I know there was a forum post I made earlier. Um, Indy Ayres, uh, which I believe is his, her, their name, um, was talking talking about doing small team stuff so maybe next season we can do some some small teams like 3v3 stuff that's what people want yeah i think having a season based on like 2v2 uh 3v3 would be really cool um the only Maybe downside is change. it makes points an absolute pain but uh you know points are we can figure that out at some point what well, um, they want to do it because anyway, if yeah. 2v2 3v3 is just you pick a team and that's your team for the season then you can make it work that'd that be way. pretty cool yeah i was also thinking about doing some sort of like clan event but i don't know of any Clans besides Mumble and GBC, GBC that do that much stuff. Yeah. No, there's those, I know the, those pro main ones. Eh, pro yeah, kind of does, but I rarely do you see pro players like playing with each other. It's more just these just the really good players who decided to identify as really good players. But GBC and Mumble Clan are <laughs> yeah. straight up clans. Like they're they have been playing together for years. So Yeah. But yeah, anyway, um, but I mean the thing is with the team idea, you could have well what we can talk about this later. Anyway, the point yeah. is that that those are the plans for the future are possible team tournaments possible and definitely there are modded tournaments from stuff next week and until then though that is going to be it for us i think unless you have something more to say crew yep. uh, i'll be it i'll see all you guys later uh cool. thanks that shout out for hosting me on stream well thanks for coming and helping co-cast and also for organizing the tournament and thank you to all of you again for playing and of course Thank you all for watching, and have a good night.